Hi everyone, welcome to another pretty flower um, colouring session from our Ivy and the Inky Butterfly page. Um, we're going to be using the um, Castle Art Soft Touch pencils today and I'm going to be colouring this um, flower here in some blues. I thought I would keep it quite light blue today because a lot of our flowers are quite dark. So I picked out a couple of light shades from my um, castles. Sorry, that's a little blurred. We've got cobalt turquoise and the cerulean blue light. And I'm actually going to start with the light one, the lightest, which is the cobalt turquoise, and do a layer across the petals. And then we will um, have a think about what we're going to do. Now I'm pressing really gently. As I say, I want this to be quite a pale flower. We can always add layers as we go, but we can't take layers away. Now we have this small layer of petals, and then we have the larger ones and the ones that are behind. So we've got a few different um, things to think about. Now I'm thinking where this um, piece here, which I think would be green, um, comes into contact with these, it would be darker. So I'm just, I'm still using my um, turquoise, cobalt turquoise at the moment. I may not use the darker one. We'll see. So I'm thinking it might cast some shadow to so be a little bit darker. Actually gonna put a bit more colour into these. I think it looks pretty like that. And then there would also be some here. So I'm gonna put some colour there. And spread it down towards the tip which I will keep quite pale like that and we'll do the same with this large one here so I hope everyone's okay I hope you've all been able to do some coloring today or you will or you're planning some for later maybe or maybe you're doing some now with me whether it's this or something else I don't mind now these are behind so I think because this sort of inside, we're seeing the inside of the petal rather than the outside and I think there would be some, it would be darker. So I'm grabbing the cerulean blue light to do those. I'm going to start off quite pale though because it is a different shade of blue and just popping in a little colour there and I think I'm just going to use this to emphasise just the edges of these where I thought it would be a bit darker. It won't show up massively but I think it will make a difference. I just think it's important when we're planning our day or writing our to-do list that we prioritise a relaxing pursuit. Whether that's colouring for you or something different, that's fair enough. Sorry, clatter clatter pencil. Um, just make sure you take some time for yourself. Hmm, where well, yeah, should we go? I think we'll do a castle green light. It's quite a light colour. And we'll add some dark to it. So we'll do the whole of this stem. I think it's quite a similar stem to one we've done already. But the other one we did much darker. So I'm just adding a really soft and gentle layer. This is where colouring becomes really relaxing. We just add a light, gentle layer like that. I'm just going to brush away this little bit there. That's it. And now I'm going to add a second layer to the parts that I think would be darker, such as here and here. And maybe at the bottom. Now I quite like a stem when you do a darker part on each side and it looks more rounded. This is so narrow I can't do that. So um, I'm not going to. I am going to grab a slightly darker colour though. Um, that was Castle Green Light. I'm going to use the actual Castle Green. Um, I'm just going to sharpen it and just use it to add a few details like we did with the um, with the um, light cerulean blue so castle green and just a few extra dark bits here and here 
on here and it may not even really show massively but I know it's there now this is a little bit plain and it's a larger area so I'm just going to put a little bit each side because I think it would be slightly rounded and then I'm going to go back to the castle green light and put a few extra layers to the side of that just so that it looks more rounded and I'm not feeling that this is quite dark enough or vibrant enough so what I'm going to do is grab the lemon yellow light and just go over all of the green with this to just make it shine a little bit it will blend and burnish and just increase that intensity and hopefully give it a nice warm glow it's quite nice mixing a yellow together with a green I'm just layering it up until I'm happy it's still quite pale but that's fine I want it pale but these I feel need um, just um, blending a little bit so I'm going to grab a blender I could burnish it actually we burnished yesterday I could burnish I just get my burnisher again I clean the tip off I'm just double checking because I don't want the green that we did on this one to get onto this blue and uh, I'm going to start at the top and just work down and just burnish that colour in and hopefully you can see a difference you may not but I feel it just eliminates some of that white paper and you can use a blender to get a similar these little petals too. There. Okay, I think we are done. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a really lovely rest of your day and happy colouring.